Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work, and today we're going to do an unboxing of the brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max, 256 gigs. So let's start the video, show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so here we have the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, I am a little bit late with the unboxing because the people from UPS, they delayed it, and the phone comes out on Friday, then it gets delivered on Monday. Have it to me plenty of times, but here we are with the white titanium iPhone 14, iPhone 15 Pro Max, so I do have to get used to that. But as far as the color, I did actually go with the white because I kind of felt like the deep purple from last year was actually better than the colors that they have for this year, so I didn't really want the blue because the blue reminded me of the 12 or the 13 blue that they had. So I just went with the color of my car, which is white, which is completely normal. So if you guys want to match your car, that's usually what I do when it comes to the iPhone. But as far as the box in itself, as you guys can see, iPhone typical, iPhone packaging, nothing crazy and nothing special. So if you guys want to take it out, you just have to peel these green tabs. There's one up top. And I did actually get this one from T-Mobile. So I do have that branded carrier. And here we go. So if you guys want to pick one up, link will be down below. But as you can see, it has that nice, beautiful shine to it. So it does have that frosted look. It kind of looks like silver. Really depends on the lighting but a really, really beautiful device. Really, really nice. So as far as the packaging, typical stuff that you got from iPhone. So I did actually have a friend who actually upgraded from the iPhone 7. So I will actually say this, you do not get the headphones in the box no more and you do not get the charging brick in the box no more, but you do have a brand new type of cable. So you don't have the regular lightning cable that's been coming with the phones for maybe like the iPhone, four i believe or the five they changed it but you have a type c to type c braided cable and as far as the quality it seems pretty strong it does have a rough texture to it and it looks pretty official and it does have those big bezels here so it might be a problem when it comes to certain cases but that's all you get when it comes to that and as far as the packaging i did actually want to bring this up so if you bought your variant from the US, you do not have a SIM card and it only takes the eSIM. So if you guys wanna pause that and read it for yourself, you definitely can. You could check that out and you have your manual and you have your Apple sticker. And now it does actually match the phone. I did actually want them to actually change the color of this a long time ago, like they do with certain MacBooks. But you get what you pay for. But as far as for this year, they did actually make a few changes. When you get the Pro Max, you do get a better zoom camera but it's basically all the same so as far as the fill in the hand it does have a nice weight to it it is it does have the titanium now on the side so it feels a lot lighter than before but let's just take this out there you go guys the iPhone 15 Pro Max I do have the 256 gigabyte model and you do have a brand new action button. So if you guys don't know, you guys do not have the mute toggle switch no more where it used to show red for mute. Now you have an actual button that is actually customizable. So that's a huge difference nowadays and you don't have that lightning port. So you can actually use the same chargers that you can have with a person who has an Android device. And like myself, I do have a whole bunch of Type-C chargers because I have a whole bunch of Androids that I've had now and in the past. But let's just power this baby on and we'll be right back. And here you go, guys. We are now back. It's all booted up. It does have the iPhone screen saying hello in multiple languages. So let me set this up and I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys like this video, Hit it with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me figure out this whole thing with the eSIM. It's always going to be a problem because it's just how it is. But let me knock out some case videos first and we'll be right back. Peace and love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.